YouTube, Eric DIY with another excellent video review for you. Tonight we're going to review the Taika Rangers 57 inch ultra compact and lightweight aluminum tripod, 360 degree panorama ball head. It is an amazing, amazing tripod and it has become my first choice. So I'm going to show you what I used before this. So these are the two tripods that I used before. Sorry if the video is a little shaky, I had to take it off the tripod. But this is the Taika rangers which is the new one and this is an amazon basics tripod this is i've done all my videos with this since day one so it served me well i'll still have it as a backup but i really wanted to upgrade with the taika this thing has so many features on it it's amazing first off everything's aluminum it has an angle adjust what that does is you could spread out the legs and lock them into position so that way they're extended out more push it down to where i want it and lock it in and that will give me maximum height. Also have a ball head, which is awesome. You just loosen that up and then you can swivel it around. Uh, it has a bubble measure right there so that you can align it and make sure that it is totally level. And that's with the ball head that you adjust that. This switch right here has another bubble level. If you're filming and you're moving all around, you have another level. This level, if you untwist it, it takes off the base plate for the camera so you could take it off. So you just loosen it up, pull out the camera, and then you can take it right off the tripod. So that is great to have. And the base plate itself has a little churning lock in there so that you could lock whatever you need in. It has a nice little rubber padding right there and the camera sits securely on there. Again, this does extend up to 57 inches. You can also unclip these and make it smaller height or as tall as this. And there's another great feature which I'm about to show you. The other great feature about this is that you can use this not only as a tripod, but as a monopod. Basically, if you go down beneath here, you can unscrew this. This is where you'd have a counterweight if you needed it. But you could unscrew this by going to the left and pulling this whole top out. Which then, if you look at one of these legs, the one with the nice rubber padding right there, it has a lock unlock. You can use this to hold it as a monopod. So I'm going to build a monopod and I'm going to show it to you. So I've taken this part out of the bottom. I'm gonna loosen this up right here, and that will make this part come right out. So you take it right out. And that could serve as a monopod, but you can make it even bigger by unscrewing the leg down here, which is right here. I'm gonna unscrew that out. You're gonna turn left to loosen it up. And then this part's gonna stay wherever you want it to. And again, this is a monopod because it's just one-legged. You could adjust the height here. And this portion will connect to this. Just like that. And now you have a monopod. Here's what the monopod looks like. It's just a one, basically stick, if you will, with the camera on the top. And you can move it around like a staff. That is an excellent feature to have. This thing is so versatile that I would never go back to another tripod after this. Um, I like the monopod feature, I like the ball, so that way you can move it in all different directions and it does a great job. Tripod also has one more adjustment. You can loosen this up and turn this left or right so you can pan across as you're capturing some action video, which is another great thing to have. I won't use that a lot for now, but who knows in the future I might. It also has a nice strap so that if you're doing the monopod, or you just want a little extra security when carrying it around, the strap comes in handy, which is securely fastened around here. And you can adjust the height up and down by loosening these things and go up and down. So have very highly versatile, really good tripod to have. Tripod also comes with a storage bag. We're gonna show you how small it collapses to after, but it comes with this nice little protector for the top of the stand. It comes with instructions on how to use the tripod. It also comes with a handy pocket that you can attach also has a clamp right there. It also comes with some hex wrenches so that you could adjust the hex wrench screws right here on the legs. Tripod itself folds down in an easy size. We just collapsed all the legs. We're gonna put the auto adjust out and then we're gonna fold the legs up. As high as let's go. And that's basically how small it can be to fit into the storage bag. The included cushion bag is used to cushion the top away from the legs. And everything will fit into that bag as I will show you next. It's able to fit everything into the bag, has a nice zipper on it, and has a carrying strap for you to carry it anywhere you need to take it. This is the best-selling Taika Rangers 57-inch 
tripod that they make and I can't tell you how much of a joy it is to use this. This is my number one go-to tripod now. It turns into a monopod, has so many features on it. It's just amazing. If you'd like to purchase your Taika Rangers 57 inch ultra compact and lightweight aluminum tripod, a 360 degree panorama ball head, please look for a link in the description below. The same to Amazon you can purchase your very own. Every purchase will help support the Eric DIY channel and we appreciate all your support. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below as well as the bell notification icon so that way YouTube can tell you when we release more videos. And as always, have a great evening. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at eric5150diy at gmail.com. Have a great day.